Breaking news, my country people. Now, wow, everywhere just the hot Nigerians. What is going on? Okonji Iwala has been coming under heavy attack for ignoring Tinibu in France. People are saying, oh, why did she crop out Tinibu's picture? Oh, why did she do this? Oh, why did she do that? Nigerians, what thing they happen? Now, so the woman can't generally come out, come to say, I beg, oh, make Nigerians leave her, oh. Say, I beg, make their rest, make their relax. I beg, Nigerians, please relax. You know, it is quite surprising. To see attacks from both sides, people are attacking her over a common photograph. I mean, she made it quite clear that she posted these pictures on a verified, you know, Twitter account. And uh, she posted the pictures, you know, in the order received by the accompanying staff or colleagues. So she posted them in the order they sent to her. So why is it that people are trying to fight her? Why are they reading more meanings into this? You know, she uploaded a, a, a photograph with uh, the president, you know, of France and other African business personnel, but uh, excluded the um, president, Bolad Metinibu. And people were like, oh, what's happening? Why would uh, Ngozi Okonji Iwala, why would she post pictures and exclude that of uh, Tinibu? Why would she not post Tinibu's picture? What is really going on? So we're saying, oh, when Tinibu emerged as the, as the president, she did not even congratulate him. You know, people are just talking. So many people are talking about this. And I can tell you that Nigerians have really reacted. Now, the director general of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonji Iwala, has been fired by Nigerians on social media for ignoring President Tinibu in France. In, and uh, Tinibu Okonji Iwala, and other world leaders are currently in France for the Global uh, Financial Pact Summit convened by President Emmanuel Macron. And Iwala, who is a former Minister of Finance in Nigeria, shared photos she snapped with world leaders at the event on her Twitter handle on Friday evening. And surprisingly, all of a sudden, people were commenting that why would she leave Tinibu out of the picture. Why did she not post Tinibu on her Twitter handle? I mean, she posted other world leaders. So what happened? Even if Tinibu was present, why did she post, you know, President Tinibu on her Twitter handle? So many people were just talking about this. So many Nigerians were reacting. And then the director of the, the director general of the WTO didn't even acknowledge Tinibu's presence at the event in the pictures posted online. However, so many Nigerians on social media have started blasting the former minister for ignoring President Tinibu. However, here are reactions from Nigerians. It will be an unwise and arrogant decision, ma. If you posted all the pictures of you with another country's leaders without posting that of your country. However, whether you like it or not, Tinibu is the president of Nigeria, so we are watching you. Another said, it is disappointing that Madam Ngozi somehow dragged herself into the politics of hate and identity politics. This woman remains one of the greatest beneficiaries of the APC-led government. I do hope she realizes that actions have consequences and power is power. And Madam Ngozi Okonjiwala made three separate tweets from the finance summit posted and mentioned every world leaders except the president of her own country. And yet, she's here to congratulate and acknowledge President Tinibu. So it is so clear where her loyalty lie. Now, so people just, they talk, oh, they drag uh, Mrs. Okonji Wala for social media, say why she go post everybody picture. She no go feel acknowledge, say Tinibu, they, they. what is really going on? And I'm wondering, where is all this coming from? I mean, Nigerians. We are supposed to be above all this, you know, social media dragging and all, trying to place some ethnic sentiment, you know, into this issue over some common photograph, my country people. What is really going on? When will this country move forward? To the extent Ngozi Okonjiwala had to come out because the dragging on social media was too much. She had to come out and make an official statement and say, Nigerians, please relax. Make una relax, you know. It is interesting, you know, the attacks from both sides. Sadly shows the depth of 
polarization in our society. I mean, I post pictures in the order received by accompanying staffs or colleagues. Reading more into it is unwarranted. Please, Nigerians, let us unite to build our country, not to attack. So many people have started attacking Ngozi Okonjiwala. People are commenting, what is really going on? What is really going on? Because they know that uh, she, she was at the spotlight of the conference in France. And I'm sure so many supporters of the All Progressive Congress, they were reading meanings into this. Some few Nigerians were reading meanings into this. They were dragging her already. So we're even saying, oh, she, uh, President Tinibu emerged as the president, but she did not even send any congratulatory message to Tinibu. She has not congratulated him yet. She is yet to acknowledge him as the president of this country. Now, so people just, they talk. So, guys, I don't really understand where all this hatred is really going to take us to. Let us not foster bigotry or hatred because it is going to bring us down. I mean, how do we stand out when we keep dragging one of our own? M imagine it's someone like Mrs. Okonji Wala being dragged on social media over what? Not posting pictures of President Tinibu. Come on, Nigerians. We are above this now. But I do wonder, say, some, sometimes, eh, some kind people, they get time. They could just go online. And I'm sure that Mrs. Okonji Wala, she is free to play the politics of whatever she chooses. She doesn't have to, you know, pick sides between this and that. She has a right of her own. So I don't know why people are just coming around trying to, you know, drag uh, Okonji Wala. They should let this woman breathe. I mean, they are trying to suffocate her, which is something serious. And then she had to come online and clear the air concerning this issue. I mean, we live in a democratic nation, Nigerians. We should be, you know, responsible. We shouldn't be dragging each other on social media. How would it be like, you know, someone that was once a minister of finance for this country? And then we, we started dragging her online over matters that doesn't even count. You know, come on, my country people. This is really, really, you know, surprising. It is so bad that they were quick to start condemning her. They were quick to start condemning her for not, you know, posting Tinibu's picture. And then she had to make it known that, oh, she posted these pictures in the manner they came to her. In the manner the pictures were sent to her. So she let her post that Tinibu's picture. She acknowledged his presence, that yes, he was there. But before then, the deed has already been done. They have already dragged her on social media, you know, calling her all sort of names, saying she does not acknowledge President Tinibu as the president of this country. So my country people, what is really going on? Nigerians, everywhere just they hurt for social media. So guys, I'm dropping here. Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section? Thank you. Bye for now.